at this, this is where the low point is. We've got to get this golf club, like we did yesterday, fit in the club. It's got to do this, and then we're letting it drop, and look where how it's falling onto the ball. It's falling towards the low point, but we're catching the ball on the way to the low point. So the, look where the handle has to be, yeah. forward. And then we're letting the club swing. Now watch this, as the club goes down, we go up. Same we're thing. letting the golf club then bottom out. Because we don't want the low point too far below the ground for chipping and pitching, because yeah, yeah. we don't want to be digging in. So we've got to get the low point up. What I'd do guys, just with your left hand first, yeah. just let your arm hang so that the club just swings freely from your arm. Your wrist that's it look how the shoulder has to lift because you pop in okay. but you've got to let the yeah you got to get the club bottomed out now if you get this right watch you won't need to go very you won't be following through up here yeah. because the thud's taken all the impact of the strike so the club needs to go up a bit more so let your wrist cock a bit more on the way back, let it go up. That's it, now your club can drop. Now both hands on the club. Little swings back and forth, just tiny swings, tiny swings. Yeah, good. Have a couple of shots onto the green. That's awesome. This is like the wrecking ball action. Yeah. This is exactly the... the uh... With the shoulder, with the, that's it. So you can let you, you can put the ball more in the middle of the stance and you can let this move in front of the ball more and down okay. and then pop up. Yeah. Okay. But on the way back it, on the way back it's going, so it's, it's down and up, down and up. It's the same yeah. thing. Same same as the full swing, just yeah. less uh, just a micro version. Oh sorry. <laughs> I, was, no I was trying to manipulate that a bit slow <laughs> yeah yeah you just put tension in to try and slow okay. it down so actually yeah. you want to be the fastest bit should be at the bottom so it's a much shorter swing so yep. just have another practice swing okay don't go don't hit this club yeah but i want you to hit it firmer keep it short keep it short now can you hit that can you get that really loud thud yeah that's brushed that, so I'll let me show you. Okay. In a second, I will do it in a second, I'll just do it with your dad first. Just, if you stand there for me, just to show you, yep. Robert. Hold the club there where I was. Look. Okay. I can go harder. Softer. What I'm not having to do is make more swing to go harder, and then softer, softer. You can feel it through here, through the hands. So you can generate the speed without having to make lots of swing. If you can generate speed without having to make lots of swing, you can control your swing. Yes. Now just popping up a little bit just to give you that nice little shallow. Okay, no, I, I uh, get it. Yes. So this is what you saw when you would watch the yeah. video of me and Bell to the pop. So you're staying down here in your, okay, in your back swing. Yeah. We want to let ourselves lift and then we can just that was better. That's nice. Yeah. Different feel. Yeah. No, it's a. I. It's very good action. Exactly. This is a little bit more uh, punchy than yeah. I than I've done it. Before, a bit more so. aggressive. We can use less swing and be a bit more aggressive. Get yeah. more spin, and control the swing a bit more. Yeah. So we're not having to kind of go too soft because we can get quite, we can start to get too defensive exactly, with it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. There's nothing wrong with having to vary the swing, but only when necessary. It's like, otherwise I'm trying to throw a ball only a short distance, but I'm having to do this. Yes. There's no speed and where I could just do this. Exactly. Now you don't need a big finish for this. It's only a small swing. So there we go. Hold your finish. Now keep the club there. Yep. Take your right hand off the club and just imagine you're throwing a ball underarm. That's it, back and forth. Imagine you're throwing it onto the green. Now let your body twist back and through. Let go and twist back and through with it. There we go. Good. And on the next one, I want you to re-grip the golf club. Now, without stopping, swing straight back and through to this place. Good. So it's a throwing action. And again. There yeah. we go. Feel that? Yeah. 
slightly different feel. Yeah. yeah. So it's just it's a look at this. Look at, look at the effortlessness of this. Yeah. Look where it's swinging from the shoulder. If I wanted to swing it, add a bit more speed, I can turn a little bit yeah. with it. But the way it's going, it's got to swing over here. Look yeah. to go back. So we need to feel the whole motion. We need that finish just to feel. We need this, guys. Watch this momentum to feel the backswing momentum we need for this. Yes. Okay, if so we don't experience the follow through, I never really truly experience the momentum I need for the backswing. I'm not actually experiencing a free flowing action this way because I'm not creating the momentum this way because I never feel the full pendulum. I'm only doing half of it. Yeah. But if I feel the whole pendulum, now what you're feeling here, guys, yeah. watch this. The momentum that's going back, you've got to create that from the start. Okay, so what you're feeling in the exercise is actually the backswing and the finish. Yeah, that's it. So grip it lower down, feet closer together, have a little shot, just to the finish and hold you, just hold the finish. That's it. Not, you didn't hold the finish, did we? Oh yeah, sorry. It's all right. Just holding the finish. Hold the finish. Like this. Okay. And again. Okay, this time, yeah, have another go. Take your set. <laughs> well done. <laughs> that just shows you don't need to be watching the golf club. Just watch the ball now for me. Look at the ball. Now look where you want to go. Okay, now look at the ball. Now make you finish. Back and through. Ooh. So, awesome pitch. Awesome kind of action. Yeah. Just way too hard, wasn't it? Have you got another ball? Imagine you're throwing the ball onto the green and then hold the finish. Now bring the club in and put it in that hand. Now hold that place without stopping, swing back and through to that same place. And there's the swing. What you're going to do is vary the speed of it, vary the length of it. Does that make sense? So you yeah. can make a shorter version, a longer version, change the speed, but that's the that's the that's the action. Awesome. What a shot. Okay. So what you did there was it was just a little yeah, bit no, of the it was, arms, yeah, wasn't exactly. it? We didn't actually let the club travel for long enough before it went. We actually went early to try and hit the ball with the club head, yeah. as opposed to just letting the club travel, and then, like you said, feeling that yeah. that flail for longer. And then, how do you get the club? How do you get the speed? What you do is you pop, and that creates the speed. Because yeah. look at this. This is this is swinging. It's lagging. And then, as soon as I go up. You get the pop. We've got this, which gives us this. Now I can feel the momentum I need back to go through. Yeah. Because I felt it here on the way back. I've got to create that from here now with my with my weight transfer movement, with my body movement and the free natural swinging action. Mm -hmm. Then we've got the little pop. To add a little bit of speed. If I don't want to make a big swing. So I don't want to make a big swing from here, because if I make a big swing and miss and miss hit it, yeah. I'll be off the green. But we can make a little swing and just pop it. There we go. Now. Beat that. <laughs> yeah, beat that, but I didn't make much swing. If I'd have topped that or thinned yeah. it, it wouldn't have been yeah. off the, too far, uh, you see. So it's kind of just finding the, Find the right swing length. Yeah, feel the thud with the ground, guys. That's awesome, Noah. Not better than yours, though. <laughs> good effort. Really good. All right, guys. Enjoyed it. Thank you yeah, so much. Definitely. Thank you, Absolutely. Robert. Noah, brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much, yeah, guys. Exactly. Brilliant. It's, Glad uh, you've enjoyed it. Well done. That was awesome. No, no, no. That's good. Very good. Brilliant. It was, uh, as always, good to get to experience. Get it in, in your hands, getting you real with it. Feel so, it, yeah, yeah. Feel it. So now I'm. Now you've got. Now you've got plenty to go back and practice now and develop the games with. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two hour download covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces 
and transfer them through to Clubhead Speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos.